This is Molly Burkhart reporting from the new Basketball Champion Center where we just watched the men's basketball team's practice. After the practice, we got a chance to catch up with a few players. We talked to Ryan Boatwright, Phil Nolan, and Daniel Hamilton, and then got a chance to speak with Coach Kevin Ollie. Let's take a look at what they have to say. Hey, Coach Miller, we've been working on a lot of different moves, and I just feel like one person, if the player take, take away one side, I can go to another side. I just feel like I could do a lot more than I could last year. Uh, Rock, our freshman, he's doing pretty good uh, rebounding and stuff like that. And then D-Ham, he's, 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 he's going to be a good player for you, Kyle. And being able to just do whatever uh, Coach asked me to do, and I'm going to just go out there and just do it 100%. Uh, nah, it really don't matter. I just uh, want to be out there on the floor and just make an impact for the team. That's the most important thing is just make an impact and uh, just play hard for my team. I'm adjusting pretty good. It's uh, a lot of time management, but I think I'm uh, adjusting pretty good with my time with school and practice and everything. So. It's been working out pretty good. We get on the basketball court, and when I go to the house, I, you know, I see the basketball court. They still got it back there, and I know it's been about, probably a lot of wars back there, and they probably picked on their little brother and didn't give him an opportunity. And he probably went in and cried to Mrs. Hamilton a lot, and she told him to go back outside. So all them little things that he probably been through to get him to have him have a chip on his shoulder. I think he got a big time chip on his shoulder. Now, that just got to continue. So he's going to have some ups and downs, and y'all going to write some stories where he's not playing good. But sooner or later, he's going to be right there and he's going to be a constant. Now, he got to get through it. He got to continue to recover, use that toughness that he had in the backyard, and keep coming out there, and keep taking his punches, and he's going to be a, a real good player for us down the road. But now he just got to keep working now. And like I say, don't get drunk off success. He's got some early success here. But so when a lady is going to get punched, he's going to have to get back up, and that's what champions do. After you, after you win a national championship, man, a lot of people, and a, a lot of kids can fall back and not be as hungry, and I work as hard that, that off season. And uh, for me to come back and see the progress that everybody made, uh, you know, it just let me know that my team is hungry and, and we want to be successful again. Uh, you see it behind us, you know, so, you know, they're working on their shot. We want to continue to have everybody space the court, and then that's when we're good when we space the court. But, you know, of course, we lost a lot of shooting. We lost that Yandre, I think, shot like 47, 48 percent, and Neil shot 42, Bass shot like 41, Ryan shot like 38. That's a lot of three-point shooting that we lost. But hopefully, um, we can make some more layups, get in transition, so we're not relying on the three-point shot that much. And, you know, and then we have Amita inside that's getting more a post-up present, which we didn't have last year. We had we had DeAndre, but there was more sweet spot isolation. There wasn't no real post-up guy. So we want to make sure we have a faster tempo this year. We want to push the basketball, and that starts with playing good defense, and rebounding the ball, uh, pushing, everybody getting running their lanes, and then we uh, get some more easy buckets so we're not relying on three-point shooting. But, we need to make sure we continue to shoot free throws at a high clip and play defense. The men's basketball team will open their season November 4th against Southern Connecticut State University. This is Molly Burkhart reporting from the Champions Center.